Alright, this section we're going to reduce rational expressions. First of all, rational expressions just mean anything that's in a fraction. And reducing, that's a big lie. All it really means is to factor, 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 and cross stuff out. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our rational expressions here and we're going to factor it. Okay, we've got our tools, our greatest common factor, look for that first. The x, the x box, guess and check, we got all those ways to factor it out. Now remember, we're factoring, not solving, so we cannot use completing the square or the quadratic formula. We're reduced here to factoring, okay? All right, so we're going to look at this expression here. We cannot cross out these threes. They are attached with the positives or the negative signs. They glue everything together like super glue. That means this is one expression and this is another. We cannot cross them out unless everything is exactly the same and they're not. So we have to factor. So we'll look at our first one here. We're going to factor just the top. We say, all right, can we factor out a greatest common factor? Check for that first. Nope. Okay, so what strategy are we going to use if it's just an x squared? Well, that would be our x, right? Just our x. So we're going to say, all right, this is the same as, we're going to say factors of 3 that add together to get negative 4. That's going to be negative 3 and negative 1. So this is going to be x minus 3 and x minus 1. That's the factors for the top. Now, it's like a puzzle, right? We know in order to reduce it, there's probably going to be either an x minus 1 or an x minus 3 down here, so we can cross it off. That's the whole point. So let's take a look at just our bottom here. We don't have an x squared, so it's not going to be the x, the x box, or guess and check. That just leaves greatest common factor. So what can we divide out of both of these? Well, they both divide by 3, and our leftovers are x minus 1. All right, now we look at the top of the bottom. We're looking for parentheses that we can cross out that are exactly the same, and we have an x minus 1 and an x minus 1. Anything divided by itself is 1, so we can cancel this out, and we're left with x minus 3 divided by 3. Again, we cannot cross out those 3's because this is glued together. Remember, it's all or nothing. So this is as far as we can go, and we simplify this big complicated thing down to just x minus 3 divided by 3. Simple as that. And remember, you know you love math. 